Um, what is up, guys? It's the BYT here, back in our video. Got my Bernie shirt on, not for sale. The irony of the shirt, because I bought it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This video is going to be, um, 10 reasons why the WWE is going down the fucking toilet. And I got some pretty damn good reasons I came up with in 30 seconds, because it's so easy to depict all the garbage in WWE. There's so much of it, I could just, you know, write it down. Uh, the promos suck, the wrestlers suck, there's no characters, no storylines. The the, pr the production sucks, I fucking hate the production. The camera angles, the crowd sucks, the announcers fucking suck. The, um, just, um... Just the guys have no, just the guys have no larger-than-life personas. They're just, um, random schmuck, schmucks they find in the ROH scene, the underground! <laughs> See, this is what all these guys have to fall back on. They're wrestling from the underground. It sounds so fucking stupid. See, uh, Sami Zayn's like, I'm a kid from the underground. Nobody, what the fuck is this? This is so shitty. When you look at guys like... You know, The Rock. You see a fucking star. You see Austin. You see a larger-than-life character. You see The Undertaker. You're like, holy shit, this is fucking cool. This is badass. We're gonna get into ten reasons why. When you look at a guy like Kevin Owens, you think of a fat slob. Um, we're gonna get to the ten reasons. Number one, it's garbage. The company is garbage. The whole thing is garbage. There's nothing good about it. That's a pretty good reason. Number two, bad future. All these indie guys, holy shit. They're filling in the roster with all these indie guys. All of them. It's, th that's what Raw is. It's just a bunch of indie guys now. That's why the ratings are declining. Because these guys, there's nothing to them. They all suck on the mic. They have no charisma. They have no characters. They're just garbage. Kevin Owens is garbage. Sami Zayn is garbage. AJ Styles is garbage. When you look at these guys, do you look like, a, oh shit, this is a badass and a real star? No. They look like plain guys. There's nothing to them. I'm sick of seeing these guys on the main event. It's Why are they catering to these fans? They're, don't they notice the ratings are declining? They have no characters. No characters in the WWE. Enzo Amore spazzing around like a child is not a character. It just makes him look stupid. It's dumb. It just he's... His stupid corny jokes. You know, my mom and dad got together. How you doing? Why the fuck are you talking about your mom and dad having sex on Raw? What the fuck is this? It's disgusting. And why... Why bring... Why? Just why? Who wrote this? It's stupid. Number four, everyone is bad on the mic. Everyone is bad on the mic. Roman Reigns, AJ Styles, Cena, uh, Rusev, Sheamus, Alberto Del Rio. Uh, just all their guys are... St the guys they shove down your throat suck on the mic. Compare the New Day to the New Age Outlaws. And the New Day are under the category of good mic workers now. They look like shit compared to the New Age Outlaws. They're not cool. They're stupid. They're garbage. Roman Reigns look like looks like the biggest star. Roman Reigns is the biggest star in the company right now. The guy sucks. There's nothing to him. He's like, if you take away this title... He sounds like a fucking idiot <laughs> with his lips. Like, what the fuck? Somebody just chop off his fucking lips. It's, it's fucking annoying. Um, also, credit to WJ for creating this series. Um, great guy. Um, Roman Reigns looks like the biggest star. Can you believe that? Number six, decline ratings. The ratings are going down each year, and it's going to get worse and worse until they wake the fuck up and start putting on a good show, like they did in 1999 or 98. Um, 2003, uh, SmackDown version, um, number seven, more indie guys, all these guys, 
that come up are indie guys. This goes under the category of bad future. There's no future. I don't want to see Sami Zayn versus uh, Finn Balor in the main event of WrestleMania 38. I don't want to see that. Who wants to see that? These guys have no talent. They are so boring, it is unbelievable. They are so boring. There's not a word other than boring to describe them. They're boring. There's nothing to Sami Zayn. He puts on good matches, but I'm bored with the matches because he can't get me interested in the matches because he sucks on the mic and can't tell a story for shit. All these guys you claim are great workers and they have no psychology. No psychology. Uh, number eight, the crowds fucking suck. The crowds, holy shit! Don't even get me started on the crowds. The crowds are so annoying. Every time they see one of their indie schmucks, they come in their pants. They they chant, "This is awesome!" Every time they do a uh, a cool move, it's ridiculous. Enough with the this is awesome chance, you know, every match. You notice in the Attitude Era, you got a this is awesome chance of like one out of every hundred matches. That was a, That's a reason, because that chant is only made for legendary matches. Now since you're putting the chant in every single match on Raw, it makes the show look cheap. It's ruining the prestige of wrestling. It really the crowds suck. Why do the crowds fucking like these people? They're garbage. There's nothing to them. Is that all the people go to the show? Just what people that watch ROH? If I wanted to see this, I would watch ROH. If the majority of the fans wanted to see this shit, I would watch ROH because you can get a lot better wrestling in ROH. I don't give a fuck about that. I care about characters like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Number nine, it's not real. It's not for real wrestling fans anymore. You can see they're modernizing and making it like MTV, or like you see Edge and Christian commercials, like stars like The Rock. You know they have great characters, but I mean he has a he has a good character. Just another guy who has a great character. But you see these ads for Ed, the Edge and Christian show. I guarantee you, if a wrestling fan from 99 who stopped watching in 2003 or something and turned on Raw and he saw this commercial with Edge and Christian, he would be like, this is a kid's show and it is not for me. That's what he would say or think. And it'll change the channel. It's, it's not... When you look at the Edge and Christian show, it looks fucking dumb. That's all it is. It's, <laughs> there's no other word to describe it. It looks stupid. They're not funny. They're not that entertaining. The only reason why they were kind of entertaining is because you gave them a script with Vince Russo who actually knew how to write shit for wrestling shows. These guys aren't entertaining at all. For, a, for their own show, they're not entertaining enough to get their own show. I'm sorry. It's not for real wrestling fans anymore. It's for these indie schmuck. These indie fans that nobody. that are like one, t 100 percent 0.1 percentile of the audience 0.1 percent number 10 they're trying to modernize it by using the wwe network it's turning fans away for example everything that's wwe related is on the network Do, don't you think if like you if you're a wrestling fan you don't have the network don't you think that they're gonna feel a disconnect with what's going on like Nobody watches, why, first of all, they probably shouldn't have never made, they shouldn't have made this, it kind of ruined wrestling in my opinion, if they've already, like, kind of ruined it before, but when they made the network, it was great, it was great when the first, like, you know, three months, and then it just kind of ruined wrestling, because they revolve everything around the network now, they do these shoots with Stone Cold, you're not supposed to break, you talk about breaking kayfabe, and then you're breaking kayfabe in the interview. It's, you can watch better shoot interviews on, on YouTube. It's like, this is not what I watch WWE for. I don't watch WWE for old former wrestlers to critique it. And just basically tell the fans how shitty it is. I watch it for the entertainment value, which you're not providing for me. Yeah, but you're saying, well, you're going to keep watching. Of course I'm going to fucking keep watching it, dumbass. Because I want it to get better, and I have a fucking wrestling YouTube channel. 
And I don't even know if, if I got rid of this YouTube channel, I'd probably still watch it. You know, maybe not as much, but I would still watch it. I'd probably watch it, you know, a couple times a month, three times a month. <coughs> but yeah, just those are just some reasons for why the sh why WWE's going down the toilet. And it's, it's going to continue to decline. See you guys later. Peace out.